All right. Hey, today what I want to do is cover a new feature in seowriting.ai called Connect to Web. And Connect to Web is a new feature that you're going to use to create factual articles based on current content uh, that can be found on the web and in news stories. This new feature is going to be perfect for bloggers that are writing in the news, technology, or science space, or if you just need to write blog posts that are based on current year's data. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to create two different articles. Now, one article is going to be based on search data, and the other article is going to be based on current news data. And after the articles are completed, what I'll do is run, run them through originality.ai, and we'll just check the plagiarism and reading scores to see how they turn out. So in the interest of full transparency, I have my own subscription to seowriting.ai that I pay for myself, but I am an affiliate for the product. So if you use the link in the video description and make a purchase of seowriting.ai, I do make a small commission. Now, if you do decide to purchase, don't forget to use my discount code that I have as well. It's for 25% off a subscription. So let's go ahead and try out the connect to web feature in seowriting.ai. All right, so here we are in the seowriting.ai interface. And to get the process started, what we're going to do is choose one click blog post. Open that up. And I just want to first scroll down and show you uh, the new feature that they've just added and talk a little bit about that. So this is the connect to web feature. And what the connect to web feature does is it's going to go in and use the technology of real time search results and enable the immediate acquisition of search findings, which are then utilized for the article writing. So there's the, the way that you would call this out and set it up when you're creating an article is you're going to say yes to connect a network. I typically say yes for the source links. I think that's good to put in. And then you have this choice. You can go and have it uh, write an article based on real-time search results. So uh, we'll demonstrate an article written by real-time search results. I'll also do one with real-time news search. And then another way that you can do this, I'm not going to show it to you today, but if you want to, you can enter your own reference URLs. So you're allowed to enter up to one, up to three reference URLs, and that and the AI will analyze that content found on these links and use it as the factual data. So if uh, you have three specific articles um, or URLs that you want the article to be written against, you would want to choose that. Um, I'm not going to do that today. So let's just turn everything back to default. So the first article I'm going to do is something that I saw today in um, Google News. And it's about how brainless jellyfish can demonstrate learning abilities. So I thought this would be a good one to have SEO writing attempt to write an article using its new connect to web feature. So this is our keyword. I'm going to grab it. Go to the dashboard. And then get back into one click blog post here. Enter the main keyword. Let's have it generate a title for us. Interesting, inappropriate content detected. Harassment, this violates our terms of service. Please edit or try again. I'm not sure how to say brainless in any other way but brainless. Um, well, this isn't exactly what I expected to have happen in the demo, so Let's do this one instead. But this is pretty interesting. Um, it is something that I'm going to uh, maybe write in a note to the developer at, SEO, at seowriting.ai uh, and, and ask him about this and if there's a way to work around this. Because this is actually uh, 
used. This brainless term is used quite a bit throughout the different news sources that I saw. So I'm not going to do this. I'll scrap this article. This is interesting, real time, <laughs> finding this out when I go to do a demo, but whatever. Uh, so iOS um, 17 is coming out. So let's do this. I OS, iOS features and functionality. We'll do this one because there's a lot of news articles about um, iOS 17. Oops, I need to add that as well. So we're going to generate a title now. So exploring iOS 17 features and functionality, a comprehensive guide. That's good enough for this demo. We'll stick with a medium size article. The language is going to be English because we want this to be like an authoritative source, sounding source. We're going to go with a professional point of view. I'm going to leave point of view as none. I'm going to set the target audience as United States. Now we can choose to add an image. In this case, I'm going to just add a header image because this is sort of like a, a news story that you'd post on your blog if you have a technology blog. Sometimes they don't have a lot of pictures in them. It's more like almost like press release like because it's a news story. So I'm going to go with a placement after the H1 only. And I'm going to go with the highest quality image. And that happens to be the optimal quality. Excuse me, the high quality, and that'll cost 10, 10 image tokens. Uh, image style, let's go with, I'm just going to go with cinematic. Now, you can now describe what you want in here if you want to. You can enter your own image style. So you could say cinematic, professional, quality photo. We'll see what this comes up with. But now, now that's another feature they've just added is you can, you can either pick from the drop down or, or add your own description if you want to. Uh, from an SEO perspective, I'm going to just let it generate NLP keywords for this, which is fine. As far as the structure goes, I'm going to leave everything at default. I'm not going to use quotes. I don't think we need to use quotes. I'll leave that at no. Um, probably going to say no on key takeaways. I'll leave FAQ. So here's where we're going to use the feature connect to web. We say yes. Source links, we want source links. And we want this to go out and look at real-time news search. I'm not publishing to WordPress. I'm using the standard hybrid language model that SEO writing offers. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this article and uh, come back uh, when it's completed. All right, SEO writing has completed the article. Again, it's called Exploring iOS 17 Features and Functionality, a Comprehensive Guide. Uh, this is the image that it created. Looks pretty good. I mean, AI uh, image generation tools sometimes have problems with text. And you can see that in this image. Is this a non-usable image? I don't think so. Uh, I, I think of something like this as more of a filler image anyway. Uh, people know it's an iPhone, that's good enough. So I've been reading a lot about iOS 17. Uh, it gives a little introduction, talks about one of the new features, which is standby mode, and tells you uh, some of the key features uh, about standby mode in, in the interactive hub, uh, some improvements to autocorrect, and it talks about the autocorrect improvements, um, some of the messaging upgrades, gives you uh, a nice table that breaks the stuff down, talks about uh, two-factor verification codes that it's using to enhance security, and some of the productivity boosts, 
some of the keyboard shortcuts, accessibility, uh, focus with assistive access and live speech. So of course, you know, if you're a technology blogger, you know, you'll be able to read through this and determine uh, whether it's all factual or not. You can also um, look at some other news stories and do some searches for some of the, the key factors that are stated in a, in a news story and then double check and see if it's showing up in, in your article here. But this all looks very good. You know, I've been reading a lot about iOS 17, and so far I'm not seeing anything from this cursory overview that stands out as something I'm concerned about. It has a nice FAQ to follow it up, and then it has these source links that it used when it went out and uh, created this article. So that would be the first thing I would do is look at these source links, make sure they work, um, and then uh, do some cross-checking between the article that SEO Writing has created um, and these source links and make sure that it's factual. Now, uh, I would also talk about iOS 17 from your own personal perspective because my assumption is if you're a technology blogger, you have a viewpoint on these new changes as well. So that's the article that's based on news, on the you know, connect to web and the and the news source. So let's look at a different kind of article that we could create. Let's go to the, let's go grab our new next keyword. So this is going to go out and look at the web and look for 2023 data about best small towns to live in in 2023. So uh, these best whatever, best XYZ in 2023 articles are ones that a lot of bloggers have to create. And so this is where the connect to web feature comes in and becomes very useful for you. So let me just copy this, go to the dashboard. Here's our keyword, best small towns to live in 2023, generate a title. Discover the best small towns to live in 2023 and earth hidden gems. I like it. Sounds good. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just choose informational. I'm going to leave point of view at none. Target country. I'm going to say United States. I'm going to do something a little bit different here. Now, one feature that's been recently upgraded in SEO writing are the optimal quality images. So I'm gonna put after each section an optimal quality image. Now an optimal quality image only uses one token. So um, it's not as good as a high quality image, but in this case, we're not probably gonna see a lot of images with people in them where faces are shown. And that's why I would use the high quality is anytime I'm gonna show any images with people's faces, I think it's important to uh, use the better quality. But in this case, I, I want to just have something in each section, but I only want to use one token. So enough with that. Uh, image style, forgot. Let's do, let's do this cinematic. I'm going to enter my own um, cinematic high quality photography. We'll see what that generates for us. But that's nice that, you know, you can add some more um, information around the kind of image that you want to use. I'm going to let it generate its own NLP keywords. So we'll just go with the default that they choose. Uh, in this case, I'm going to leave everything at default. Uh, conclusion tables, H3s, lists, quotes, key takeaways, the whole bit. I'm going to leave that. So we're going to connect to the web. So we'll say yes, and we, we're going to cite sources. And in this, this case, instead of using real-time news search, we're going to just use real-time search results. Now, again, I mentioned about the URL references. If you have three uh, 
URLs or three websites that you found that have written on this topic and you really think they've hit the mark and that's what you want your article to drive towards is that type of quality from those three articles, then enter URLs for reference. In this case, I want to let SEO writing do it and see how good a job it does. So again, I'm not publishing to WordPress on this. I'm using the hybrid language model. I don't have, I'm not going to use an API key. Um, again, I'm just going to point out ChatGPT4 is coming soon. At this, at this point in time, you get a hybrid model uh, with uh, SEO writing of GPT 3.5, 3.5 Turbo, and GPT 4. Uh, and the quality of the articles I found to be quite good. So let's go ahead and start this one. I'm going to run it, and while it's running, I'm just going to pause the video and come back when we're done. All right, the article's done. Uh, it's 4,180 words. That's a long article. Uh, so let's see what it consists of. So discover the best small towns to live in in 2023 and Earth Hidden Gems. Um, it's got a nice little catchy introduction. Nice looking uh, image. And again, this is the lower quality image. This is, this is great. So it talks about... Um, some of the different types of categories for the various small towns. I'm not sure why it put factual data here. That, that I would cut out. I'd delete that. Uh, travel and leisure is create a list of the best small towns for 2023. Importance of choosing the right small town for your lifestyle. Importance of a tight-knit community. Um, this image, this looks like a village in England. Not sure whether I would use this one or not. I mean, it's not bad. Um, but somebody might see that and go, is there really a, a small town in America that looks like that? So it's, in this case, the article's taken the tack of going in and creating various categories. So small beach town, small mountain town, etc. That's the direction this article is, has gone. So now it talks about small beach towns. This looks like a good image for small beach town, small mountain towns. Goes through and describes them. Um, this looks a little like Switzerland to me. Could it be used? It could. Uh, but it doesn't really look like maybe a town with the Rocky Mountains behind it or something. But it's usable. Gets the point across. Uh, small lake towns. Gives a couple of those. Small desert towns. Not usable at all. <laughs> this one we'd have to cut out. And again, that the, the, here's the problem that we run into when we have SEO writing pick our own images rather than us choose images from other sources. It does its best, but the image always is created by the title of the section. So small desert town. Um, it doesn't say, you know, I, if I would have said, if I would have made the title of this article discover the best small towns to live in in America in 2023, it probably would not have chosen some of these images. So uh, just bear in mind, not every image is going to be perfect for what you need. And, and again, if you're blogging, you know, this is a great uh, starting point for images, but, but, in the end, you're going to have to have some sources of your own, either through stock photo agencies or uh, maybe having an account for an AI image creator and creating your own based on your own input. This image is acceptable. People look good. I don't see anybody with three legs or two heads, so that's good. Um, That's an excellent image. 
Now, if somebody gets real picky and they look at the name on the, on the wine bottle, obviously, unless that's a foreign language of some kind, you know, that's not right. But in general, it looks fine, more than usable. And then spa and sanctuary towns, this is fine. Has an FAQ. Has source links here, travel and leisure, etc. So again, if you're writing in this space, I have to assume that you have uh, some background in the, the blog topic that you're writing about. So you will have to do some fact checking like you do with any AI tool. But it would be pretty easy to fact check most of the things that this article states. So the one thing that I wanted to do is I just wanted to see what kind of uh, score we get in originality.ai. And I'll go ahead and say that the AI score, the AI detection score is going to be 100% or darn close to it. It almost always is. Now, I'm going to have to delete some of the content because when I do a scan in originality.ai, it only will scan up to 3,000 words. All right. I've got it copied in. We're at 2,998 words, so we can perform the scan since it's got a 3,000 word limit. So unfortunately, I can't scan the full article, but I can scan 3,000 words of it. We'll check for AI. We'll check for plagiarism and readability and see how we fare. All right, as I suspected, um, it's detecting the article as 96% AI. That is very common. I wasn't expecting anything any different. Uh, from a plagiarism standpoint, we have 0% plagiarized, which is great. And then from a readability standpoint, we have a 44.9. It's not bad. Uh, it's a decent readability score. So really what it's going to boil down to is you looking at the content that's created and determining the quality of the article and edit and then editing the article accordingly, right? I liked the quality of this iOS 17 article a little bit better than I liked this article on on the, you know, the best small towns to live in. I think where you could really help yourself out a lot is to be as descriptive as possible in your keywords when you're writing articles like this one uh, we're looking at here. I think if, we, if I were to put discover the best towns to live in in the United States in 2023, um, that would have really helped out with the image selection that SEO writing made. Uh, I think there, we would have got a few of those images uh, that would be better for use in this article. So again, um, with anything, you've got to edit it, you've got to fact check it. Um, but this connect to web is really going to make it a lot easier for you to write articles that are that are more factually based than before and have cited sources uh, for the articles that you're creating. So anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed and liked the video. Um, if you'd like to comment or ask any questions, please go ahead and do that as well. So until next time, uh, take care.